Hello, I am your teacher, Gary Vernier. Welcome to Activate Your Grammar. Today, you are going to learn how to use the present continuous to ask yes, no questions in English. Let's begin with what you already know, the present continuous in Spanish. In Spanish, to ask a yes, no question in the present continuous, you use this formula. The question mark plus the subject plus the verb estar plus the main verb ending in ando or yendo and another question mark. Here are some examples. Ella está hablando. El niño está comiendo. Nosotros estamos estudiando. In English, there is one big difference from Spanish. You have to always say the verb to be first to ask a question. Here is the formula in English. The verb be plus the subject plus the verb ending in ing. Here are some examples. Spanish, ella está hablando. English, is she speaking? Spanish, ellos están estudiando. English, are they studying? The video will now stop and you will have an activity to identify verbs in the present continuous tense in yes, no questions. Okay, below is a review of how the verb be changes depending on the subject. Rule number one, if the subject is he, she, or it, the verb be changes to is. If the subject is they, we, or you, the verb be changes to are. If the subject is I, the verb changes to am. So just like in Spanish, the verb be changes depending on the subject. Here are some examples. Spanish, el tigre está corriendo. English, is the tiger running? Spanish, los hermanos están jugando? English, are the brothers playing? Spanish, estoy cocinando bien? English, am I cooking well? Here are all of the forms of the verb be in positive, negative, and yes, no questions. I am, I am not, am I? You are, you are not, are you? He is, he is not, is he? She is, she is not, is she? It is, it is not, is it? We are, we are not, are we? They are, they are not, are they? The video will now stop and you will have an activity to form the present continuous in positive and negative sentences and in yes, no questions. Congratulations. Now you know how to use the present continuous. I will see you back here again for the next lesson. Good luck.